Hi, I'm Kim Redden from the Water Quality Research Foundation. If you're dealing with the impacts of the winter storms and any power outages that have resulted and you're concerned your water quality may be affected, there are several resources out there that can help you. First, find out if your public water provider has issued any boil water notices or alerts. As we've seen through our foundation's research, there are certain situations such as a power outage where your public water provider will issue this as a precaution to protect you. But it is because there's a potential for contamination of your water and you should take special care if you have vulnerable household members, such as immunocompromised individuals, any elderly or children. If your area is under a boil water notice or alert, you should use bottled water or boil your water for all drinking, cooking, and brushing teeth. If you don't have bottled water, you can bring your tap water to a rolling boil for one minute and let it cool before use. There are instructions on exactly how to do this on the CDC's website that you can find with a quick Google search. If you have home water treatment already in place that uses carbon, media, or membranes, take the equipment offline until a boil water notice has been lifted. Then be sure to consult the owner's manual or a local water treatment professional to determine how the system should be serviced and sanitized before going back online. The WQA has instructions on how to sanitize equipment in the WQA knowledge base for its members, and you can contact them to get access to those resources. For anyone who has a private well, if you've lost power and you currently have water treatment for health contaminants, then use bottled water if you can until your power is restored. Depending on what contaminants you were treating with that water treatment, boiling your water may not actually be appropriate for your specific water situation. We hope this information was helpful to you and hope for a quick return of power and safety to everyone affected by these winter storms. Thank you.